What's up guys, it's your boy Colin Osborne. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to generate an automatic Google Meets link so that it can be sent to your clients whenever they book appointments for you. And you know, part of the premise, the story behind this is I just recently launched a digital marketing, web design and SEO company. And it's just a relaunch of my old company essentially called Oslon. And um, essentially, we're going to be booking appointments on that. So I didn't want to have to see the appointment, go on to Google, generate the link and link it to, um, and, and then, and then put it into the system. It just seemed like a house to me. And with automation being 2024, we should be able to do that on top of the fact that, um, I don't like necessarily using zoom because I already pay for uh, Google workspace. And I'm able to record meetings um, via Google Meet. So it just makes more sense um, from a business standpoint. But a couple things you need to do in order to have this sync. First thing is making sure that your integration for Google is set up. I have my analytics account as well as my Google GA4 property synced to the account. You can do that really easily. I'm not going to necessarily show you how to sign into your email account. It's very simple. Click on the button. And it takes you there. So that's the first step. Second step then, which they don't necessarily explain in my opinion, is going to your profile and making sure that your email is synced properly. And this is my, this is the, my admin account. Let me go to my staff account, which is, we call it the marketing team. But essentially, um, go to user calendar. Okay. So if you go down to user calendar configuration, so that's going to be settings, my staff, because you're essentially finding the person that you're trying to have the calendar linked to already in your account in go high level. Um, and I have, if I already haven't explained this, I use the account Excuse me, I use a CRM Go High Level to do all of uh, my CRM, well, business operations. Anyways, um, and this is probably more for video for people who understand Go High Level. If you don't, um, I'm going to be releasing a course at some point. I'm just waiting to have time to do it because I'm just so busy with work. Currently, right now, I am a, let me turn this down a little bit. I am a global demand generation manager at Microban. Uh, so it takes up a decent amount of my time, but whenever I have time to work on this, I try to like right now, but anyway, so, uh, make sure that your calendar is synced with the calendar that you're going to be using. Um, I have a calendar named Aslan in here. Let me just click on edit. And it really just like, for example, I have my own Gmail account with my own name, like with, and it's Colin at Aslan.net with his own calendar. So I make sure to sync that with, and I don't know why it's not, I do that before, let me exit that out for a trick. Yeah, so anyways, um, I uh, you need to make sure to have your account linked in here, and then also make sure that it's, you're allowing contact creation for the, um, or in which running trigger means it's gonna send the automation through. Let me see how I can hide this. Okay, bad. We're going to save that. Cool. So essentially, this is basically saying, hey, the automation is good to go. I can save that. And the thing is, the reason why all of this, I, I, I didn't really do anything different, so that's why it's not letting me save because it's already connected. So now that you've done that, you also then need to go to the calendar section. And this is the part where I messed up on and you cannot create in it from, at least from what I know of at the moment in time, because I tried to use simple calendar and service calendar and those don't work. You have to use round Robin calendar to set up the Google integration. I don't know why. I don't know why it's the case. So, however, if you're watching this, 
please answer, but hey. Um, but I'm going to go to the uh, section where um, where the, you know, it, it, this all makes sense. This is our intro meeting calendar. And then if you go scroll to the bottom, I'm not necessarily sure why you have to create a group, but I'll show you to do that next. But you have to create a group for some reason. Um, once again, I don't know why. I have no idea. I think if we were, if I was to take the email and calendar components of part out in Salesforce, which I use at my job and kind of sync that into this would be the perfect system. Cause a lot of the things that go high level has, um, part out does not, unless you pay like an, a leg and an arm for them. But anyway, so you're going to put the, uh, this is where people are like, oh, well, I want round robin. I want myself. Well, you can select yourself or whoever it is. Like I have my marketing team person who is me, but like, or whoever is going to take over that position when I hire someone, then I have a virtual assistant hire that role. I should probably have like a course on that. When I get to that point, I'm just going to videotape it so you guys can see how that's done. But anyways, so marketing team i'm making sure that that has you know google meets on there um you could do zoom if you want to i don't i'm doing you know let's see what the meeting invite meeting meeting with meeting about website Put that there. I'm just editing a little bit and then put your availability. Mine's Monday to Friday because it's my work from home days. I don't do that when I'm at work. Um, but, you know, that doesn't mean I'm going to be, you know, taking it. I'm just putting that for times when I'd be actually be available to take a call. But anyways, this stuff, you know, if you want to configure it to how you want it to be, you can do that. Customization. I like gold. So I have that up there. And, um, you know, you could make certain edits, but that's really the, what matters the most is that you ha have <clears throat> the person that you want selected to be to, for the meets to be generated on the, the Google calendar to be connected in this calendar because they're going to be the ones that um, receive the information. Ooh. So. That's done. Then you have to create a group. I'm not sure why. And this may not be a thing anymore, but I just did and it worked for me. So I'm just going to continue to do it until someone says I don't have to do it anymore. But anyways, just create a group real quickly. Let's connect. I don't know why. Put it, put information in. You could have the different template. Um, I like Neo. I think it's pretty cool. Let's save. And then make sure that you move it. It says you move it to group. And it's going to, I already have it moved to Let's Connect to Groups. So I'm not going to mess that up because I don't want to touch it. And then you can see your connections here. I have Oslon. I have not my personal calendar, but I have my Oslon connected and synced in here as well. Okay. Well, I don't want anything else to be. Well, that's connected. Now it's time to test. So I have my intro meeting calendar set up and I also have a thank you page set up for the calendar confirmation. So we're going to quickly show you what that looks like. By the way, I should probably show you how to actually let's go in here and I'll show you kind of make sure you know how to add the calendar and stuff like that because some people tend to need a little bit more help and that's okay. Um, so go high level is pretty simple. All you gotta do is add an element. Let's see here. Um, sorry. Uh, and you add the calendar right there. I already have a calendar listed, but it's pretty easy a drag and drop situation. I'm going to exit out of there because I already have it connected. Um, I also have it on the mobile side too. 
It's a pretty, like, they've really done a good job of updating the calendar system. Because it used to really suck beforehand, to be honest with you. But now it's pretty cool. So that's good. You can exit out of that. Because we don't need to change anything. And then this is what the real-time view of what it looks like. So pick a time that suits you. You know, just pick a slot. I made it pretty simple. We're going to do Friday at 2 p.m. And what's going to happen is you're going to see how everything comes together. I just like to use the fake name Ash Ketchum because who doesn't love Pokemon? And then over three, I just didn't put a fake number in it because I don't want you guys calling me. There you go. Then feel free to blast that email if you'd want because there's nothing on it. Additional information. Um, hey, what's up? So if I've done this correctly, what should happen is there should be a link generated for the meeting that I will have with Ash Ketchum, the Pokemon trainer, to talk about building his website soon. Um, confirm that information. Give it a second. There's going to be a bunch of notifications coming my way. You'll probably see right there. These are the things that are hidden. Here it is. I thought it didn't work at first, but it did. All right, so... This link right here is what is, is the magic sauce. This is like essentially what I've been trying to do for the past week. And now I have it generated. So now Friday, March 8th, 20, at 2024 at 2 p.m., I can just pull up to go high level, find the meeting. I can also go, let me go to the conversation to show you Ash Ketchum. If I go to the email, I can see that the meeting link was posted there. Also, Ash Ketchum received an email with the link as well. So let's click on the link and see what it looks like. Because this is where, every, where everything comes together. Boom. It's my face, by the way. But essentially, that's how you create an auto-generated calendar Google Meets link that syncs to essentially everything like your business calendar and allows you to kind of have that automation rather than, you know, scheduling the calendar than going on Google Meets. And it's just that that just seems awful. So hopefully I help someone out. I just helped myself out because it took me about a week and some change to actually fix that. And um, yeah, that, that really wraps up the video. That was a pretty short and sweet and quick video um gonna be putting new videos out can't say when it's gonna be uh hopefully i push more out though this year and um you know this same thing video link works as well too just want to make sure you guys see that wow now to make it a clickable link all i'll do is just hyperlink that you know i'm actually do that real quickly just to just because i like you guys <laughs> All right, um, let me go to the thank you calendar confirmation page. We can go to edit. And these are the custom values that, that you can use. And I want to do, uh, let's see. Calendar. Well, what's a good? What's a good thing to say? Like calendar link, meeting link. Wow. There we go. And we're gonna pop that in there. But I also want the link to be gold because gold is just a great color. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pause that me publish that and then we'll just click review
on technology. Just working. He's been doing this this morning. So bear with me a couple more minutes. Hopefully I don't get that upset because this is also something that's been relatively... Here we go. Thank you. Go high level for working. Finally. <sighs> Anyways. Like what we've done before. Meeting link. If you look at the bottom left corner, you'll see where it says meet.google.com. Click on that. And it takes you to a beautiful meeting. Here's my face again. All right, guys, hopefully this was an informative and educational video. Really helped me out. And, and anytime I need help, I'll probably just look at this video because I knew how to do this before, but I forgot. And then now I know how to do it again. So for my viewing pleasure and for yours. Anyways, hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, stay tuned for new videos. Make sure you subscribe. I think it's going to come around here. And... Um, We'll talk later. Bye.